Her real name is Veronica Martinez. And don't break her heart. Diagnosed with bipolar disorder, two arrests for stalking ex-boyfriends, <laughs> went after one of them with a skin and knife? Convinced a jury was only self-defense. Well, I'd say when it comes to jealousy, our girl is crazier than an outhouse rat. Man, I hope I'm never on the wrong end of that smile, JR. Now that John Ross has got Bobby to sign over the ranch to the Dell Soul Conservancy, I think it's time for me to claim my birthright. What do you want me to do? Now, how many black stripes these zebras have got? Well, I believe the zebra's got about the same amount of black ones as it does white ones. How many black stripes you think this zebra's got? Makes sense to hire a crew as is. That's how we always do it. Don't make sense to me. Well, it makes sense to me, not me. Well, not a whole lot does make sense to you, does it? Yeah, there's a lot that makes sense to me. So you think having an all-black officiating crew is going to somehow help you win the game? Watch your mouth. <laughs> They've killed me, David. Excuse me, Jerry? I'm Stu Chermack. I'm from NBC. Oh. Uh, could we speak for a few moments? Sure, sure. Basically, I just wanted to let you know that we've been discussing you at some of our meetings, and we'd be very interested in doing something. Really? Wow. So if you had an idea for, like, a, a TV show for yourself, well, we'd just love to talk about it. I'd be very interested in something like that. Well, here, uh, why don't you give us a call, and maybe we can uh, develop a series. <laughs> the, bit, the bit I really liked was where the parakeet flew into the mirror. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> the parakeet in the mirror. That is a good one, Stu. Yeah. <laughs> Please put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. I think you'd better do what he says, Mr. Kenny. any position to tell me how to run this company or what to do with my money. Now, we both know what this is about, Cullen. I think you've been using company funds to guarantee your personal loans and run up incredible amounts of debt. I asked you to stop. You are still a very wealthy man, Sam. Yes, I am, John. And I intend to stay that way. My plan is to be out of the oil business in about five years anyway, so you just go ahead and buy all the airplanes in the world. Run your share into the ground. It doesn't mean nothing to me. And you have something to ask. Ask me a question. I'm right? warning you, Mr. Merrill. I'm Don't a federal officer. Sam, federal. Federal. let's go. Warning me. Is that your name, Sam? You're warning me? Go ahead. Warn me, Sam. Warn me. How old are you, Sam? Sam, how old are you? 24, 25? Warn me. Warn me. You know... It still gives me the creeps to think that Mickey was just using us to rip off drugs, you know? Oh. Yeah, I kind of feel sorry for him. Oh, this is a first. Barry feels sorry for somebody. <laughs> I'm serious. I kind of feel guilty for the guy. I think I might have drove him to it by being so mean to him. <laughs> nah. <laughs> what do you guys think will happen? Well, it's hard to say. If they want to, they could charge him with manslaughter or murder two for Eddie's death. Yeah, but it's not like Mickey actually shot him. No, but he did give him the gun. Okay. You know what? 
Mickey's a slime ball. Here's to Mickey, the slime ball. Right, who the hell is that? You fucked up, Kane! Oh shit, not now. Where's the money? That's it. These guys are level two. <laughs> Class 4 world, designated Sigma 957. Not much of an atmosphere, mostly nitrogen and oxygen. And our flyby sensor picked up traces of deridium. Byproduct of quantum 40. Usually. We need that verified. If so, we'll send out a life sciences probe, make sure we're in accord with all the regs on planetary exploitation. But we can't afford that unless we're certain it's worth the effort. How can it not be worth it? There's a shortage of Q40 on Earth. They backed up six months on jump gate construction. Which is why we need absolute confidentiality. I need your word that you won't mention this to anyone, including the commander. My personal life has nothing to do I with- I know, I know. I was told to ask, so I'm asking. We each have our marching orders, Miss Sakai. It wasn't me. It was Ken Fields who did the dirty work. Hmm. Who said that? Amy? No, I, I didn't say anything. Well, that didn't stop them from saying something about you, Amy. Amy stands to make a lot of money from all this. She's <clears throat> a slut. <laughs> Mr. Childers. Shut up, you little idiot. Maybe I am a stupid little idiot lying for you. He did it. He spearheaded the whole thing. He called me a slut. Mr. Childers, I am uh, shocked at you. Don't be shocked, Mr. Fields. She's taking you down, too. Wait. Fields is going to be shocked. I'm taking him down, too. Oh, I'm not. I love Ken Fields. Well, I don't love you, you bitch. How could you do yeah, that? What? She's up to her hiney in this, all right? Oh, did you just call me a bitch? What am I supposed to do? Hey, you you the lost me. Oh. What are you doing here? I read the newspaper this afternoon. Well, congratulations. I mean about Larry Rossi of Unified Manufacturing being killed. What about it? He was killed in the same room you had me check into. You know, for a hooker, you have a very vivid imagination. The police will be looking for me. I didn't bargain on a murder rap. Take it easy. I'm not taking anything easy. I'm going to the cops. Will you wait a minute, please? Come here. Come on. I can make it up to you, really. Honey, I can't take you down to the bus station. Why? It's late. You should be at home in bed, huh? But look, come on. I can pay, see? Whoa, and there's whoa, a lot whoa, more whoa. in here, see? Put there's that a away. lot hey. more, see? Uh, look. I got an idea. Come on. Why don't you go back over to the party and find your folks, huh? No, I can't. She is right over there. Sarah! Come on! Sarah! Did you pinpoint yet what first brought on this change in behavior? But Dr. Master suspects that the electroshock therapy yesterday might have triggered some traumatic childhood memories. Well, wait a minute. From what? According to his family history, nothing traumatic occurred in either his childhood or young adult life that would merit anything like this. Now, no. 